questions right here. Do you want to talk about the finals or do you want to look back on the season, share some of your favorite memories? You pick. Oh, you want me to talk about Rondo winning two championships, one with the Celtics and one with the Lakers? Let's <laughs> no, no, no. This, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do finals. No, I'm just saying if he wins, what was that tweet? If he wins. If the Lakers win the finals, he'll be the first player in history to win win the finals with the Celtics. So and, and Nick, the Nick, Nick, talk to me about this. Nick Jelso, coaches have done it, uh, players have not. So Rondo would be the first player to do it. Nah. <laughs> what? All right, let's do the finals. Let's I do th- the I, finals. I think the Heat can win. I'm, I've been what? trying to convince myself of this of the last couple of days. No, they want to all go home. The heat? Sweep, no sweep. The Heat gets swept by the Lakers. Wow! All right, so let me do my best here. Uh, they have a good zone. It's not a great zone. It's a good zone. They have the right personnel in there. I don't think the fundamentals are sound, which made it all the more frustrating that the Celtics couldn't figure it out. But the pieces in there, long wings, being able to hide those different shooters in there a little bit, and then Bam in the center, blowing up pick and rolls against it. Their defense is legit. And then they can throw in man situations, Crowder, Iguodala, and Jimmy Butler at LeBron. They have the right personnel defensively to make it tough on LA. And Bam, man, you've seen some of the struggles Davis has had when it got a little physical out there. Bam's going to make it tough on Davis. This isn't Mm -hmm. a sweep at the very least. I think it's a sweep. Just a LeBron and Davis thing? It's a great excuse for everybody to go home. All right. It's going to be low ratings, dude. It's going to be a very – Really? I think, yeah. I think well, it's the whole be, thing's but, been low ratings. It's I, something... And it's going to bottom out right now. Like, the league – the league seemed to want Miami, you know, like, if you're you – know, All right. Is this saying. just the Celtics thing? Would, this, it, would no, the ratings have been no. high for the Celtics? I think that – I yeah, I think the ratings would have been higher for Celtics-Lakers. I do. But, but I feel like the, the Miami underdog thing, you know, so you never know. Right, my my this the Miami get, getting to Toronto last year, Miami this year would be a pretty incredible story when you consider that Kawhi went from you know east to west and all of that. Um, so it would be a great story for Miami to win. There's no doubt. What what how how favored are the Lakers? I mean, I know they've got to be favored. How favored are they? They're four and a half in game one, and I think it's like. 350 285 on the odds so they're 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 not heavy. huge favorites but they're hefty favorites yeah 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 i'm not surprised because i would definitely part of the reason i have them as a sweep candidate is because of what you just said like there are a lot of soft spots in that miami defense when they bring their shooters out and the players that are going to have to take on Davis and and LeBron um, are not going to be able to make the big plays, but but LA still has other good defenders, right? Like Rondo's going to be able to play some solid defense on any of those shooters, and they also have guys that will make some plays away from LeBron and away from Anthony Davis. That I feel like even if Miami throws everything at those two guys and makes it tough. I just think it's going to leave everything else wide open because who, Tyler Hero, you know what I mean? Like Duncan, those guys are going to be. I just don't. I think hey, I, I the look Celtics at the Lakers. screwed up not attacking those players more. It's tough against his. I, people talk about his own like it's so easy to solve. And one thing the zone can do is minimize the weaknesses of those two guys specifically and help them contribute to the offense and they need some offensive help they're going to need to get out in transition their half court offense isn't great as we saw against the celtics so they have some things they're going to have to overcome namely playing two of the top five players in the nba they don't have close to that top end talent on their side but i think they have coaching i think they have scheme i think they have depth and i think they have some good wing defenders to throw out there and a great center to go against davis yeah and i like spolstra i mean i definitely you got to take your hat off to that guy. I mean, yeah. he's an institution. And he and he's kind of under the radar, right? Isn't it weird how under the radar he is? Well, they had some shaky years the last few years after LeBron left. And part of that was Chris Bosh having to retire. Uh, they traded Dwayne Wade. They kind of broke the thing up. They signed some dumb contracts. Hassan Whiteside, Dion Waiters. I was going to say Dion James Waiters. James Johnson. Yep. 
So they kind of pulled pulled this out of their butt to some degree with some of the trades they made. And then, of course, getting all the, I mean, you run into Tyler Hero, Bam in the mid round, Duncan and unrestricted or undrafted free agency. They they ran into some gold all at the same time, which is pretty remarkable. I think a tribute to their organization. I'm not wearing the heat culture hat, but there's a little of that there. So I think they'll put up a fight. You're probably right. The Lakers probably win this. They just they have LeBron. They have the team. It's almost yeah, always it's, the team with the best players. Yeah. You know, and there's an argument to be made, and you made it already. You know, you said, bam, it's right there with Jason and probably was the better player in the series, right? Yeah. So, you know, you called that there, but the usually the team with the best, you know, top two or three players, you know, wins the series. And and it's an appreciable difference. You make a good point. Bam's defense on Davis, we'll have to see how that plays out because um, if Davis isn't effective, you know. Davis needs to play center here. That's going to be a so, problem. Yeah. I'm so – this is all right. This is me being biased a little bit here. I looked at this Lakers team coming in this year and said, I don't I see hate it. Dwight Howard, dude. I don't I see hate it. Hate Dwight Howard. KCP, uh, Ron, Rondo has impressed me, frankly. Mm -hmm. But everybody else there, I look at their cast of role players, Kyle Kuzma. I'm just like, they don't have enough. But those two players, LeBron Davis, kept getting it done over and over again. So they're probably going to prove me wrong one last time. Yeah. By the way, maybe we'll, maybe we end on this one. Doesn't doesn't Rondo look like he aged overnight? Like he went from perennially looking like the young, like he didn't look like he was ever going to age, right? Like he was just this young baby face, and then and and I don't know if it's the do, but like literally overnight, it's like he's got wrinkles and he looks like the oldest hey. man. <laughs> it's like he was using some miracle, you know, like face cream, and then. Because of COVID, they stopped supplying it. And all right, that's that's one like, theory. <laughs> we went from a grape to a raisin overnight. I did hear – I heard people talking. They couldn't get their skincare routines down. I could definitely see Rondo <laughs> being a skincare guy. The, oh, yeah. the, Am the Amazon orders were backed up. Uh, I'll also say, this guy's been to so many different cities now. It's unreal. Like, how many times has this guy had to move? They used to have that Photoshop of Shaq and the rainbow of jerseys. That became Rondo by the end of his career. For real. Which is weird because it seemed like he was going to be the player the Celtics were going to rely on in the post-KG Paul Pierce era. Uh, yeah, some of us thought that, and we were so wrong. Yeah, that ended <laughs> fast. That Thank ended fast. That ended faster than the Antoine Walker era under Ainge. That brings me back. This is a perfect spot to end. Thank you, Jay Crowder. That's all the reason you need to root for the Heat. And not every Celtics fan will feel that way, but I feel that way. I'd love to see Jay Crowder, Kelly Olenek holding on to the trophy. Ugh. <laughs> not, not Justin. Not every Justin, Celtics fan. <laughs> Justin Poole, Celtics stuff live.